Welcome back everybody. Today we are discussing an engineering economics problem related to bond value. The problem is an investor has the opportunity to purchase a bond that matures in five years and has a face value of 15,000. The bond stipulates an annual coupon rate of 12% paid annually. If the investor's minimum attractive rate of return is 8% annually, most nearly the value of the investor's bond when he just purchased it is. Okay, so a bond is basically an agreement to lend the bond issuer money for a specific length of time. So here we have it as five years. In return, you will receive a periodic interest payments, which is 12% of the 15 thousand annually plus a promise to return the face value of the bond when it matures so if you will draw the cash flow diagram we have we are receiving a periodic payment for five years which is 12 percent by fifteen thousand and at the end you will receive also 15,000. Now, the value of the bond is basically present worth of future cash receipts. In other words, the bond value equals the present worth equals to the face value we multiplied by find P given F with the interest rate and number of years plus the periodic payments which is small r multiplied by face value multiplied by find P given A the interest rate and number of years. In our case, the bond value equals to 15K, find P, given F, 8% and 5 years, plus 12%, multiplied by 15,000, multiplied by find P, given A, 8% and 5 years. If we will go to the reference manual, for an interest rate of 8% and 5 years we will find that find P given F is basically 0 0.6806 and find P given A for 5 years is 3.9927 and that would be Seventeen thousand three hundred ninety-five, which is C. Just make sure when you are reading the problem statement that you can clearly identify which percentage is the coupon rate and which percentage is your interest rate. 